Now, the aim of this year's International Youth Day is to shed light on the need to enable the engagement of youth by making local, national and global institutions more inclusive for the purpose of strengthening their capacity and relevance to achieve global action. And this is why the Minister of State for Science and Technology, Mohamed Abdullahi, is advocating the acquisition of digital skills that can serve as a hedge against unemployment risks. The present global pandemic has revealed more than ever the power of technology to drive, coordinate and enable business continuity and build resilience in the current situation. And this comes handy as this year's International Youth Day is being celebrated with a focus on youth engagement for global action. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed. For the Minister of State, Science and Technology, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed how the world functions, illustrating the limitations of many existing systems and highlighting the need to view the role of technology as a leveler for economic productivity and growth. And one area he identifies to have a high economic impact is the information and communication technology. The development of digital skills is an important part in building resilience to economic and social shocks like those presented by the COVID-19 outbreak. This is already being recognized in Africa where the acquisition of digital skills can serve as a hedge against unemployment risks. Consequently, an NGO, the Africa Scholars Care Initiative, has keyed in to ensure 100 young girls are intensively trained and empowered in ICT with the objective of exposing them to the huge opportunities in ICT, which apparently has redefined global businesses and other socio-economic operations. Now we are in for the girls in ICT program because we want to bridge the lacunas because if you notice in ICT world today you have more men in inclusion than women. We are taking the opportunity of the International Youth Day to be able to preach out the world that we need more women in inclusion. Come for the free training. After the training we'll give you placement and set, up, set you up on an entrepreneurship journey in which you would not regret and you stand to benefit for a lifelong time. The federal government had recently approved the Youth Investment Fund of about 75 billion naira in the next three years to enable youths access funds to support their startup business on very friendly conditions and less cumbersome protocols. Justin Bemuni, NTA News.